who I, you know, I'm not sure if you've seen Bill Bill Belichick um, for the draft coverage for some of the inside the NFL stuff he's done in the past, but it's been announced that he will be joining inside the NFL for this upcoming season. Hmm. <clears throat> and, and, and I've said this before, and I, I truly mean this. I do think this is one of those moments where Belichick can flex his knowledge, flex his experience, everything else that you know he's. He's learned, he's done, he can showcase to any franchise on TV to put pressure on any coaches that are in the hot seat in the NFL that he's still out there, he's available. I mean, you have this unique window of opportunity and very similar to what we just talked about with Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Mm -hmm. You've got a three, four-year period where if you bring in Bill Belichick, he can build this thing and he can put together a plan that with the right piece, I think will be one of the best in the NFL. And so it, it, it's almost like a warning sign or an alert that, like, make sure he reminds everyone he's still there. You know, he's still lurking out there and maybe wants that opportunity to come back and coach again. Mm-hmm. I, listen, I think it's a great move by the CW um, to do it at that type of, you know, type of swag to your, to your, your staff. I think people would be more interested in finding the CW if they don't already know where it is. (laughs) (laughs) So I think that's a great move. But 100% this is an opportunity for Bill Belichick to show that that knowledge and that that wisdom and that understanding of the game, show people his personality. You know, it, it, it has continued to kind of, be that way for Tom Brady. Now there's the opportunity for Bill Belichick. In the few uh, appearances that he's made in front of the camera, he's shown a lot of personality. <clears throat> and and for me, I would think the estimation of that is is that the public will get an opportunity to to get a different side of Bill Belichick. He actually the way that we remember him talking to the media and how you know, short he was or how difficult he was um, dealing with the media. I think it will give him the opportunity to be painted in a different light by doing a show like this and let his personality show, which could, in some regard, make it a little easier for front office people to not be maybe as intimidated or scared of hiring a guy like Bill Belichick to come in and help their team. Yeah, I mean, after having a 24-year run as the Patriots head coach, you know, and it's obviously ended in a way that probably wasn't the best, you know, not the way he wanted to end it going out on top and probably not the way that things ended between him and Robert Kraft. Uh, But he's going to be making a ton of money. I mean, if you look at, you know, him joining inside the NFL, which, which is just one piece of it, yeah, you know, he's also going to be joining the Manning brothers on a reoccurring role on ESPN's Monday Night Football. Um, and, you know, there's going to be podcasts as well involved in all of this. And then you even saw during the draft coverage, you know, he came on a visit with Pat McAfee. Uh, Pat McAfee has said openly that he'd like to have him on once a week during the season. And so there's a ton of opportunity for him out there. I'm sure there's book deals and everything else that are lining up. But this is the sort of thing that you typically do. Uh, post-career or when you're in that space of saying I I don't feel like I'm quite finished yet and maybe I'll take the right opportunity if if, if it is the right opportunity but this is this is one of those chances and time frames where you're looking at Bill Belichick saying yeah I also think he's kind of putting a lot of other coaches on notice not that he's you know willingly trying to do that or advocating for your guys to get canned so he can take over certain jobs (laughs) but I think he's Somebody's he's always sure. going to get canned. He do, he doesn't have to politic for that. He's exactly going. Yeah, people going to get fired anyway. So, <clears throat> but, but I, I think he wants to know at his age that he's still into the game. He still has a ton of knowledge. He still has a ton to share and, and to bring to any organization. Yeah. And if he is looking for that next that next spot, this is one of the best ways to do it. You know, some coaches don't choose to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I think Mike Vrabel is one of the you know hottest head coaches that's out there that he's not choosing to do a bunch of TV. You don't hear his name thrown into that. It's just not really him, right? Isn't he working with a team? Isn't he, like, consulting but, but a team? He's, he was consulting with the Cleveland Browns. Okay. And that's the other way of doing it, right? Like, you Absolutely. can go on and consult. Stay, but go consult, stay close to the game. You know, yeah. Bill Belichick hasn't necessarily decided to go that route, at least not in any sort of official capacity. Right. 
So it, it, make, it makes you wonder, and, and I understand that too. <clears throat> if you bring Bill Belichick in to consult, <laughs> what do you think is going to end up happening yeah. if, if things are you – know? All right. Right, unless unless you're unless you're like uh, you know a, a Cal Shanahan or something right. to that effect, there might be one or two coaches that I'd say he could go to that that place, and it's like yeah, the the hierarchy is is established, and and that's not going to change. But for the most part, if Bill Belichick comes into your your facility, you get the opportunity to get to know Bill Belichick on a daily basis. And if you have a good experience with that, you got to believe that they're going to start looking at Bill like, uh, well, what do you think? <laughs> I, I, I do think it's worthwhile to uh, discuss some of the comments when this news was reported that Bill Belichick would be on uh, Inside the NFL, coming to you from CW, that uh, given his – personal life details that have become public yep. and his 24 year old girlfriend yeah there there were a lot of comments being made for example uh one person wrote uh great his girlfriend's favorite channel oh, and wow. uh yeah oh, yeah there's oh, a couple wow. and then uh then someone also had, had wrote in to response to this article uh i hear he's contractually obligated to have a guest spot on One Tree Hill or a regular on the Gilmore Girls. Oh, wow. So they, that, that is kind of the funny part about the CW venturing into sports is I don't know that anyone on the outside is ready for it. You know, people think that just like, oh, and that's where we go to watch Dawson's Creek, you know, right. or some other, some other you know, show. But between with the Live Tour, I think has got some uh, broadcast rights with the CW. There's obviously some of the, the NFL stuff, college football stuff we've seen pop up with CW. It just it feels a little bit odd. Like maybe we need to rebrand the channel a little bit as we start to venture into sports and not make it so. I mean, at least that's all I see every time I think about the CW. I think about all the the shows you used to watch back in the day on that. You know what's interesting is we could look at like TNT the same way. We could look at TBS the same way. They they do sports at times on on those channels, but for the most part, it's like you come in. There's Charmed on the television when we're in the studio. You know, it's like stuff like that. But That's for Lee. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. I, I, I think it's a strong play by the CW because I think the more credibility, when you're that type of a channel, if you're going to do sports and you want people to, to make, you know, appointment television to watch your channel, then you got to bring in people like Shaquille O'Neal. You got to bring in people like Charles Barkley. TNT did an excellent job of creating a studio show that made made TNT super relevant, already more so than just watching the games. Are you going to tune into TNT to watch? It's like that show helped TNT basketball basketball on TNT to become more of a respected and and watched um, TV show. They must be – I mean, somebody's thinking if we add someone like Bill Belichick, I mean, what other what other studio show can you say you have a more credible source to talk about the game of football? Like, it, you could throw some guys out there that are some very, very um, credible names. I mean, Fox Sports, they have an incredible group. You know, um, NBC, you know, Football Night, they have – good guys on there, credible guys. But you say the name Bill Belichick, I mean, that, that demands and commands instant respect in terms of knowledge of the game and what you bring to the table. So I think that it's a it's a strong move by the CW uh, to put themselves in the type of position where they can gain some more, you know, notoriety, some more exposure, and, and also, you know, a whole lot more, you know, credibility in terms of what they bring to the table by taking a show that's a legendary show, by the way, right. and 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 vamping it. I don't know. I don't want to say revamp, but vamping the show to a point of where it's garnering that type of respect and attention that you might actually tune in to the CW to watch the show. Yeah, I believe the, the first episode airs August 30th, and it, it has this will be its 48th season. It's been around for a long time, to your point, yep. uh, produced by NFL Films. So this has kind of been one of the uh, the media ventures that the NFL has invested into um, over the years that has been incredibly successful uh, as compared to some of the recent news where uh, inside the NFL, the podcast, I, I believe, has, has kind of started to, to go away, or maybe, excuse me, around the NFL 
Uh, the podcast started to go away. Good Morning Football, which is a show that I've always loved and enjoyed watching. Uh, that's making its kind of own transition too, going from the East Coast to the West Coast and everything that's along with it. But it does seem like for some of the things that the NFL has or NFL Films has tried to produce uh, and be a part of it, it hasn't always worked out well. This is one of the things that uh, they've done as, as good as anyone out there. And to your point about bringing credibility to CW, I also think it helps elevate – Everyone else, too, that's a part of the show, right? I mean, you got, you know, Chad Ochocinco. Uh, you've got yep. uh, uh, Chris Clark. Long. You've got Ryan Clark. Like, yep. it elevates them, too, when you're a part of with someone who brings the type of credibility that Bill Belichick will bring. It brings a different perspective to them, even though Chris Long played at the end of his career for Bill, Bel- Bill Belichick and Chad Ochocinco was there as well. There's those commonalities. It will still c- continue to develop that relationship and that show. 